Okay, so originally was gonna vlog today, thinking, oh my, I have, I never have anything to actually record. Um, with all this again, vlogging is hard. Uh, stuff that I say all the time. Yeah, listen, me. Probably not a lot of people want to hear that. So, so I guess I'm trying to, gonna try to think of something else. But I'm on the clutch here. Bus is coming. Can't see it, but the bus is coming. I'm on 20%. I don't have a lot of storage. What is there to talk about? But seriously, today I wanted to actually. Earlier today, I actually did want to talk about like, all right, so woke up, as you probably do in the mornings. Uh, but I got, I like self motivated myself, like watching my own videos. I'm such a motiv I'm such a motivational guy. I know. Pro look, the thing is, I put a lot into my videos and to the message that I want to send, uh, whether it be just to myself or maybe it's to other people. Uh, but well, typically I, I make things for other people, but it's like, I. You know, I've been saying 20,000 subscribers, like I'm gonna get that every single morning and night. Like I looked at, a, I looked at the video where, I, where I, I look at the camera maniacally and say, I'm gonna get 20,000 subscribers by the end of senior year. I'm going to get 20,000 subscribers by the end of senior year. I'm going to get 20,000 subscribers by the end of senior year. And I, I do believe it. I actually believe it. <laughs> also, I feel like a, like the biggest douche wearing this chain. I've been trying to get on the regimen on, on like a, like a regular schedule like a regular routine about like gym video all the things that I could possibly do that's best for me and like I like I like I've said like I've lacked on the gym before so I'm on the way now trying to hit chest <laughs> which is the only thing I've been consistent on I don't know which is the only thing I've been consistent on I haven't hit back consistently or shoulders or biceps or legs it's just been chest so I've been starting off really light for me at 25 at uh, 20 and I've been trying to go like five um, each time I don't know if I'm gonna vlog at the gym because I don't know how much storage I have here so I'll probably either just cut to the gym or cut out of the gym whatever but yeah it really is trying to get on a, on a routine for me trying to trying to get into a schedule where it feels natural becomes and then it eventually becomes a behavior or at least that I can adapt to changing environments if I can't change the environment you know what I mean couldn't do a TikTok today I've now I don't even do TikTok but uh, I started a, I started an account <laughs> gracious Addison about a Addison Grace I'll probably link it somewhere and I'm just gonna like repost her stuff <laughs> I'm gonna try to credit her and support her with this account. Um, and if you found me from that account, hello, I'm Drip Exo. Real name Sergio Beltran. I'm trying to hit chest right now, and I hope I don't snap anything. <laughs> wasn't gonna vlog until I got home so I've had like what maybe 15 minutes um, to enjoy what's out here and I um, got to thinking about life uh, I do that a lot um, I like most I don't know about most of the time most of the time I think about my future um, but uh, I do have I think the reason I am the way I am now is because I remember a lot of uh, my past <laughs> um, I feel like if uh, there's a term in psycho psychology called the dark triad and uh, after the, si the situation that happened with this girl who I talked about who tried to commit suicide uh, that I had to save. Ever since then, I, I think my journey has been trying to get out of the dark triad. So, trying to... Uh, it's just very dark stuff that I, I, I don't know if I want to open up about, but thinking uh, in, about stuff very, very much in a dark way. And, like, I'm looking out here at the sunset and, like, 
I made it. Like, like I finally re recovered. I, I finally recovered. Um, except sometimes I, I think maybe I stress out too much. Maybe I overthink. And I still have to fix my sleep depriving issue because I don't sleep a lot. But other than that, I think I'm pretty good. Um, I never feel depressed. I'm well, you know, maybe you know we have those certain times, right? But other than that, I'm happy, and I've been happy for several months now. I ha I don't remember when the last anxiety attack was. Um, I I I've, I've made it even before I've reached my goals, um, and even before. I've become an influencer, an entrepreneur, do whatever, do whatever I want to do. I, I feel like I've made it in life because uh, of how I've, I've finally recovered. I finally have. And my friends who have helped me do that, they haven't done it themselves. And I wish I could help them. And I guess I, could, I do help them it, um, by letting them know that they have somebody to talk to. but. Um, it's, I mean, I can't do everything for them. I had to realize it's my own responsibility. It's my self-responsibility. Um, it's my personal responsibility. However you want to put it, it's up to me at the end to really make the change. Um, and, you know, I was taught that by somebody else, but uh, I don't know if they want to be pep talk, pep talk by me or like, they even want to hear it I remember being depressed you just don't want to hear anybody you don't want to hear what anybody else has to say even because especially if they're not depressed themselves if they're happy you feel like they don't get it you know they you'd, you'd rather not take advice you just don't want to deal with it you, you know and I fact is like you don't need to deal with it like you could live like that depressed and whatever but I, I found that you miss out on life and for me my, my meaning for life now that I've given myself is to enjoy the good times. Um, I don't know if I was put here for a purpose. I used to believe that. Um, I really, really don't know why we were here, why we were put here. But until I, I find more, I'm giving my, I'm giving meaning to my life, and I'm gonna say it's to enjoy the good times and being depressed. You're not enjoying the good times although I do admit that being depressed you there are certain things about being depressed that you probably can't get uh, if you're not depressed that actually do make you happy I remember being depressed um, just spending all of that time thinking about life and the past and the future and, and the relationships that I could potentially make and that I have that I already making uh, made um, and there's really mellow times like that that are, are really relaxing and those were good times and you know the, the other depressed friends that I've found that you know it's like we're depressed together at least we're depressed together and that was really that really made me happy you know good times like that but for the most part it's, it's um not good at least in my experience I I have for me I feel like perhaps what I should do now is go on to getting myself motivated all the time because my issue was how to become happy like that's what I had to work for um, because I, I didn't really know how to be happy um, and so it went it was going from depressed or nihilism to being where I am now happy and now I think I'm trying to go from happy to motivated. Um, and that's quite a transition because with motivation comes like the competition, especially the entertainment industry where it's like so competitive. Um, I don't, I could be competitive, but to play at the top level of competition, it's like, it's about putting down your opponents psychologically, mentally, physically, spiritually, however you could in order for you to win. And I don't think I want it that bad. Um, I'll probably do it, but I, I don't think, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to transcend into always being competitive because that means looking at everyone as my enemy. And 
always secretly wanting to take them down. And I, I don't know if I'm ready for that, but uh, I really, that girl, I really wish I could talk to her. I could talk to her. She's still alive as far as I know, but it will be uncalled for. Um, it's unnecessary. I, I think they've moved on. They And I iced them, I think, you if you want to call it iced or I didn't. I, when they tried to talk to me for so much, so many times, I just tried to like push them away and I did. And now I'm gonna like come to try to talk to them and be friends with them like it's in the past. Like it's probably best to leave in the past. Um, and all that built up like inspiration and motivation and love I have, I wanna put into the vlogs. Um, like I didn't think I was gonna go on for it. Like, now eight minutes um, talking about something. Um, I feel like maybe I, I have this thing where I, I, I blabber on and that's one of the ways I knew that I wanted to do this is because I couldn't shut up. Like my teachers would, would say he's a bright creative kid, the report cards, but I, that I couldn't stop talking, that talking was a problem. And so, I d what's up? No. And so I don't like, so somebody <laughs> came up to me and was like, yo, I said no because I don't I don't I don't know if, I think he was asking for a cigarette but I don't I don't smoke I hope he gets what he wants I think <laughs> uh, but but no uh, that was always told to me has a problem and I know that there's money in, in talking that there's success in being and in, in not being able to shut up uh, <laughs> and, and always being talkative and stuff and um, for me I decided to channel that into this into vlogging and trying to make it daily, um, trying like the third or fourth time to make it daily now. <laughs> um, anyway, this bus. I might try this again <laughs> some other time. Doesn't seem like the bus is coming. <laughs> uh, I thought it was coming six at six, and uh, it's it's now <laughs> it's now like six twenty. I don't know, maybe it comes at 6.30 and I just misunderstood the other bus driver who told me that they were gonna come at six. If this happens another time, I'm taking the other regular bus. But um, yeah. You know, yeah, I, I guess I'm having one of those mellow moments now as I as I look at this beautiful sunset. Um, that, well, what I find a beautiful sunset. Um, even though I can't see the sunset, like the sky is beautiful to me, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I really wish there were, um, I, I re really wish I could talk to people and tell them how I really feel about them um, and about our relationships. There's a lot of things I I wish could have happened, um, but I don't live in regret because, for all I know, in reality, it probably would have wouldn't have happened anyway. And so, I guess the best I could do is love them, even if it's even if they're just a memory. Today, I'm going to try a scorpion sucker. I have had this 